Hi, so I just want to tell you a little bit about my new collection, and it's an extension of the previous collections, which was the, the original pieces with the hearts and the milagros and everything. So this is um, a little bird, and everyone that I know has a home decor bird cage. And this little bird blank is got wires on the bottom of it so that you can wrap it around the bird cage, the little, the little perch that's inside the bird cage. So you wrap the little wires around and he's got little wire feet so you can adjust him. And then he will have a loop in the back so you can hang it as well as you can see on the finish sample here. And the finish sample is super, super simple to do. You just give it a coat of texture paint, which is Finnebear's products. And you can use Finnebear's beads to decorate it. It's really, really simple to do. You use her 3D gloss gel to add the feathers on the top and the back. And you have the most adorable little bird for all the thousands of bird cages that everyone has in their home decor. So we also have in the new collection these eggs and they're called imperial eggs and they have a wood back that goes with them and the wood back you glue this egg onto here you remove the screw on this one leave the screw on that one so you can hang it you glue them on to make one solid piece and then that piece you can then decorate with our new Christine Adolph foils this is just the foils and the wood back puts it all together that way you can combine different pieces together this is the Dresden trim that we have here, the Dresden trim. And it's just paper. It's really, really easy to use. It looks like metal, but it's just paper. And you can actually finish it. These are finished the same trim right here. You can finish the trim with Finnebear's mediums and make it look like a different piece altogether. So this can be painted with any of her colors. She has a new collection of heavy body paints, and these all are painted with her paint. Also, you can finish them to look like rust, and they just come in the silver and the gold. I want to show you some before and afters. So this is how simple this process is. The before, just the piece you put together, this has two coats on it. One coat of paint, a metal flake paint with a verdigris, and then you spray it, and that's what you get. It's very, very simple. This piece is done exactly the same way two steps. You paint a copper paint on it and then you spray it and that's what you have. It's really, really simple to do. This is the same. This is done with two steps and it's got, comes up with like an iron finish on it. Then you can just use acrylic paints. These are all painted with Finnebear's acrylic paints and I just want to tell you a little bit story about where these flowers came from because it's a really unusual story. I bought on auction this $10,000. I didn't pay $10,000 but the vase was $10,000. It was broken. It was a German vase from Germany, about 150 years old. And the vase was broken and there was a little section of it that I purchased at an auction and I cast those pieces from that little section. All of these pieces have a story. They all came from a different place and each one has a story that goes with it. These pieces can also be soldered on. One of my design ambassadors solders on them. So you can make them look like this is, they take solder, it has actual solder on it. So you can make it look like an ancient relic or if you like a more modern look, you can do it kind of mid-century modern, and that's what these pieces are. So you can go from mid-century modern to ancient looking in one step. And then I want to show you how friendly they are for scrapbooking and for card making and for tag making. These pieces go on anything. This just has embossing powder on it. A little bit of finish and embossing powder, and that's it. Two steps same thing two steps really really simply done you can use it for home decor this crown is a, an exceptional piece and it is cast from my antique original and this piece is actually the piece that I'm wearing here and this was my grandmother's cameo and it's a very special piece to me and so all of these pieces are cast from antique originals and there's just a variety of things you can do with them you can go really really elaborate or you can go super simple with what coat of crackle paint and some gold. Frames, scrapbooking, you can see here, little cases. There's a million different things you can do with them. Really simple and fun to work with. 